Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. The biggest news from yesterday, and there's a lot of great news, but yesterday was the big news, is the Supreme Court has agreed to take Donald Trump's immunity argument. It gets even better for Mr. Trump. What they said is it looks like briefing's going to be done, oral argument in April, decision by June. After the primary, when the general election is rolling along, the United States Supreme Court would not be taking this case and setting these deadlines the way they have past the primary if they didn't have five votes. It's plain and simple, folks. This is really, really important. You're not going to hear that from any place else. Anyway, they've got five votes. They wouldn't be doing this if otherwise. All right. Hunter testified behind closed doors. Uh, the Democrats came out and said, oh, the impeachment thing's falling apart. Are you ready for his excuse? On that text, I'm sitting here with my dad, blah, blah, blah. He goes, well, I must have been drunk or high. This guy, you just watch. Hunter Biden's going to come up with a Twinkie defense. Remember the guy that got off for murder? In the Harvey Milk murder, he got off based upon that he ate too many Twinkies. He was high on sugar. Well, this guy does the crack defense. Joe does not did not have a cognitive test as part of his doctor's thing because he didn't need one. Folks, I guarantee you had a cognitive test. We ain't showing it to us. <laughs> this is an example that they think we're stupid. All right. Uh, Athens. Sad story. The Athens sheriff didn't want to do anything about the illegal immigrants and whatnot because he was worried about the look. In other words, woke sheriff. All right. Mitt Romney says he will never, ever, ever vote for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Marino. Big event yesterday in Westchester and Powell County fundraiser and a rally for Marino. Donald Trump Jr. came into town. Big deal because whoever Trump endorses wins. Marino got the endorsement. It's already over. He'll decide. When McConnell retires in Kentucky, whoever Trump wants to be U.S. Senator will be U.S. Senator. Mitch McConnell announced yesterday that he is giving up his senior leadership position as Senate Majority Leader. I did a Facebook Live about that. Let me explain why he's doing it. He refuses to endorse Trump. November's the election. Trump's going to win. He knows it. So what he's doing is he's saying, I'm out as Senate Majority Leader. He's not retiring from the Senate yet. But that's why he's doing this. He refuses to. If he were to endorse Trump, come on board, work with him, be a different. He sees the writing on the wall. He's walking away. He hates Trump that bad. 10,000 texts and countless phone calls, too, between Fannie, uh, Fannie w Willis and Nathan Ward. They're so busted. By the way, it wouldn't have been bad. They should have said, who cares if we had an affair? The problem is they lied about it. All right, the border. This is funny. Trump's at the border and Joe Biden's at the border today, different places. What did I say on my Facebook Live today, which is unbelievable? 2015, when he campaigned for president, number one issue the border. He wins in 2016, solves the problem. Biden comes in, screws up the border. Number one issue for the 2024 election, eight years later, the border. It's unbelievable. Nancy Pelosi made over a million dollars stock trading last month. Nothing to see there. The Ellen, an Illinois court has thrown off Donald Trump off the ballot. Of course, who cares? He's going to win Illinois anyway, but that'll get reversed. Obama he, he commuted this drug dealer sentence. He got buzzed with a backpack. Loaded up, baby, with drugs. All right. Shutdown deal apparently is going to happen. It's going to be a lot of money. Mike Johnson's going to get hell from the far right. Just more BS. Continuing resolution gets us through October. Uh, Sam Bankman free. You can't make this up. This guy scammed everybody, acting like big shot, CEO, all that crap. His mom says... He's worried about him. He's so sensitive in jail. Oh, really? If you're a badass enough to, not a badass, but if you're a moron enough to scam people and be a milk-livered clay-brained hedge pig, Shakespeare insulted today. Let me repeat that. Milk-livered 
Clay-brained hedge pig. Too bad. All right, Trump, Bond. Apparently, he's, he wants to only put up $100 million instead of not the rest of the million. He's just buying time. He's going to squabble and buy time. All right, Lara is going to take over the RNC as co-chair. Good for her. And Wendy said they are not going to increase their prices like Uber does in peak times. Can you imagine? As bad as things are, they would do that. And Lauren Bobart. Boy, 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 oh boy. Her son is part of a gang breaking in a bunch of cars. He faces like 20 or 30 charges of breaking into cars with a couple other guys. Thought he was invincible. Wanted to be gangster. Not so cool now. I don't know how anybody, I don't know how people in Colorado vote for Lauren Bobart. She's a train wreck. This is the Budo. Every dog has her day. Have a great day.